We're going to a Japanese baseball game. We wanted to see why baseball is Japan's most popular sport, so we went to two stadiums to watch both of Tokyo's home teams. This is the Tokyo Dome, home to the Yoimuri Giants. It's a covered dome with climate control, and everything about this place is massive. Holy moly, this line is so long. This is the Meiji Jingu Stadium, home of the Yakult Swallows. It's outdoors, it's packed, and it's passionate. It's called Yakult because this yogurt drink sponsors the team. Now let's jump into what makes this game so unique. My favorite thing about these baseball games are the fans. It feels like the cheering never stops as they have coordinated chants for each player and multiple team songs. The audience really likes this guy, Okoye. Trying to learn the cheers. So that one goes dun 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 something like that. The crowd really lights up for a home run, and each team has their own special celebration dance. The Giants swing around bright orange towels in unison, while the Swallows all pull out their little umbrellas and wave them about. If you want to participate, be sure to stop by the merchandise shop. Look at how cute these things are. What is this? I think it's a puppet. Oh, it's a puppet. Yeah. These are the noisemakers that everyone has. The nunchucks comes with the, or the noisemakers comes with a string, probably to keep it together or to keep them from flying if you start waving them erratically. I like that you called them nunchucks. <gasps> oh, they're shaped like baseball bats. <laughs> to encourage this passionate team behavior, there's separated seating in certain areas, allowing only home team fans or away team fans. So they actually have a cheering leader. So Japan takes its fans' seating very seriously. We are in a Yakult Swallows only zone, and it's literally one section away from the giant zone. But I had my towel on for the Giants team, and I got called out by security. I got pulled off and told to put it away. Another amazing element of the Japanese baseball game is the food. I love the food at Japanese baseball stadiums. It's amazing. You can get ramen here, and yakisoba, and karage, and yakitori. Mind-blowing. I love that each player has a favorite food. So you can pick their food. The most delicious options sadly come with some pretty significant lines. Well, I would have gotten a lot of food from all of these different places, but these lines are so long. I think we just have time for one right now. I really hope I don't have to pee. I think yeah. I have to wait another line. <laughs> Oishi, as always. I added mayo. I like it with the mayo. Karage at a baseball game. Amazing. Oh, so crunchy and juicy. Wow. If you need something to wash down your food, beer is always close by. I love all the girls running up and down in cute outfits. They're selling beer and snacks. I really want to buy from the girl in the pink outfit. She's so cute. Credit card only, oh my gosh. Get it, get it. The beer runners, they work so hard. We've been seeing these girls running everywhere and they do so many steps. <laughs> I can't think of a better workout than being a keg girl. Up and down the stairs with water weight on their back. I'm impressed. So there are different girls based on the beer that they're holding. There is a pink girl for Asahi, there's a yellow girl for Keating, and a super rare girl. There's a blue and pink girl for Baskin Robbins ice cream. Do you think it's ice cream? Oh, it's ice cream, it's ice cream. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty solid. I'm gonna break my spoon. <laughs> It's important to note that Japan has been in love with the game for a long time. 
Babe Ruth came to Japan as a very popular cultural ambassador in 1934. Japan is also exceptional at baseball. Japanese players have been very successful on the international stage, like this guy, Shohei Otani, who plays on the Los Angeles Angels, and led the Japanese national team to its third victory in the World Classic, which is the baseball equivalent of the soccer's World Cup. The craziest part is there's only ever been five classics, and Japan has won three of them. If we've convinced you to go, buying a ticket online is easy. But even if they're sold out, don't lose hope, because there are usually lots of tickets sold directly from the popular convenience stores. The ticket machines can be confusing, so don't be afraid to ask for help. Japanese baseball is such a unique experience. It has a soft spot in my heart because I love the passion and enthusiasm that the fans bring to every game. If I were to compare the stadiums though, the giant stadium is huge. It looks state of the art, and you've got a lot of really interesting food options. But with that size also comes a lot of people. So those lines that we were in were a little crazy, especially for the food. Now, Meiji Jingu Stadium is a lot smaller. It's a lot more intimate, but that means that you're really close to all of the action. You also don't have to wait in long lines for food. Now, regardless of which stadium you pick, you're gonna have an amazing time. So you should definitely go to a Japanese baseball game. <laughs> like, I'm cramping. <laughs>